Hi friends, welcome back to APA tutorial with Laravel 8. In this video, I will going to show you how to get Laravel data from database through the API. Okay, so in my last video, we learned about how to create a simple test API and how to test that API. So here is my Laravel application that is Laravel 8 and here is my project directory. So for database operation, first set up your environment. So I already set up my environment. So here I am using the database and username and password. So my database name is Laravel API tutorial. So just log into the PH my admin and so here is my database. So here I will create a table and insert some record and we will fetch that record through API. Okay. So first let's create a controller. Suppose I am going to create a controller. Suppose my controller name is block. Okay. So just use PHP artisan make controller. Okay. So we need to add the make colon controller. Suppose my controller name is block controller okay so controller created successfully and if you go to your project directory and we can see so inside the app http controllers there is block controller okay and now i will create a model and we'll create a migration along with this so that a table will be generated so let's create so to create a model we need to use php artisan make model suppose my model name is blog and i will going to create a migration so use minus n okay so model created successfully and a migration is created so now go to the project directory and check this so inside the app folder we have models folder so here we can see the blog model and inside the database we can see a new migration that is create block table okay so this is the block create table migration so when you run this migration it will basically create a table the name is blogs and for table id it will generate an id that is that will be primary key and the timestamp is for to add the two columns basically created at and updated at and i want to create another columns suppose i want to create a column that is title that is uh, block title okay so use the string and here write the column name that is title and i will add another column that is table and this is basically the text type so i will write the text and we'll add the details okay so my migration is ready so now just migrate this so go to the terminal and just run the migration so php artisan migrate okay so block table migrated so now go to the database and check so here we can see the new table is added that is blocks table so if you go to the structure we can see the id title details created at and updated okay so just go to browse so now this is the empty and i will add some data into this table so i will not add data manually we will use the seeder and we will use faker to add fake data label provides a faker to use fake data so why not we use so just go to the database seeder section so here inside the database folder we have the seeder okay so basically database seeder class is responsible to seed in data and it is the default database seeder class and we don't need to create this so add some data into the block table using this class so here i will use faker to insert fake data so use faker factory as faker okay and using the faker class we will add some data so just take a variable 
that is faker variable and here I will call the faker and to create we need to use the create and here I will add the multiple data so I will use the loop that is I am using for each loop and inside the for each loop I will add the range suppose 1 to 10 that means I will want to insert 10 record as index and after that we need to call the db so here I am using db so we need to call this db okay so db and I have to provide the table name so my table name is blogs so write the name here and I want to insert some data so call the insert method okay and inside the insert method just create array and add your column so here my column name is title and here I will use the faker name okay so basically it will be save the blog name and another column that is details okay so details and here add the faker so basically this is the text so here text suppose I want to add the 400 characters so just add this and now go to the terminal and run php artisan db seed okay so database seeding completed successfully so just go to the database and refresh the block tables so we can see there are 10 records which are all are fake so fake records inserted successfully so to fetch a record from controller we need to go to the controller that is block controller and we will fetch a record using the models so first use the app models so here write down use app models and name of the model that is block okay so here just create a method to fetch a record so i am creating suppose public function get block okay and here just add the variable that is is block equal to block that is the name of the model and here we'll use the all okay so using the all we'll get all records from the block and after that just return the block variable okay so basically this function will return all the records from block table so now go to the routes so i'm using the api so just go to the api routes so here is the routes and it is the api route so first we need to use the controller okay so just use app http controllers okay and after that the name of the controller that is block controller and here we will create a url for this function so just add route and gate here i will use the gate request so gate block okay and after that name of the controller that is block controller colon colon class and after that we need to provide the methods name that is gate block okay after that send colon so using this gate block we will get all records from the block table okay so this is our url so just go to the postman so we can taste our api so just use 127.0.0.1.8000 and after that we need to use api and the url okay so this is the gate request so as we are create the gate so just this is same so just click on the send button okay before that we need to run the server so to run we need to use 
php artisan sir okay so application is running so just click on the send button so here we will see the all records is coming okay so in the json formatted so this is the raw data and this is the json formatted data so we can understand how to get record through api now suppose i want to fetch records from id1 so i will pass the id1 or for 2 i will pass the id2 so after that we will click send so if we click send it is showing the 404 not found because the parameter is not accepted here and it is unknown url to routes so next day i will show you how to get single record and a full table record from a single api so using this api we will get all records and i will make this api as parameterized so next day we will discuss about these things so please comment if you have any queries about this video and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye